I am Brandon. I founded the company back in 2014. We have a just senior living company um, that was founded with the purpose to change the industry. So I founded the company back in 2014 because I saw that the industry, how they care for the elderly was pretty ugly. It was messed up. Um, so I hated it actually. And how I got into it. So like my grandpa was um, about 85 years old and he had a stroke when he had his first one he really couldn't talk that well and it was pretty sad that uh, we were kind of um, in a position that we couldn't really talk with him or hear what he had to say and, and, and he had a second stroke which um, really impacted what he was able to do even further so the last time I saw him he was at a big inst institutional type building and um, one of the things I'll tell you before that was so my father passed when I was two and a half. He was a chopper pilot in the army. He flew the OH-58 Deltas uh, or the OH-58 choppers and he was the first one killed in uh, 1984. So my grandpa was a pretty important guy to me. Uh, he was someone that I, that I talked with often and when I was a kid growing up, you know, he was a, a guy that helped me kind of get through uh, being a kid without a father. So, so like he was always there. So um, as he got older, he was a very important person to me. And when I saw him in a place where he didn't get really good care, um, it was really hard to see. So what happened was we were in this building and it, it was closer to the end, right? And you could tell that he had to have help. So we pulled a pull cord button waiting for uh, people to come and help him, right? And no one came. Five minutes goes by, 10 minutes goes by, 15, 20. By 20 minutes, I'm getting pissed. Like, I'm not real proud to tell you that, but like, so I got upset because it, they, his face was turning colors. Like he was, he felt really bad because he couldn't control that part and he felt bad that he couldn't even talk to us. He couldn't even say anything. So like by 20 minutes, by 25 minutes, I went to go get a person to help him. And I don't know what I said to those caregivers directly, but I know that I was very direct and probably wasn't that polite. So hindsight going home, I felt really bad because how I had to act that day when I thought I was helping him, I probably actually hurt him. So that's, that's kind of, the first experience of kind of how I got exposed to the industry. And to be frank, I hated it. I hated the industry. I hated the odor. I hated the atmosphere. I kind of hated the whole thing. So I had a very tainted vantage point of what the industry kind of was about. I mean, I hated how I hated everything on it really. So fast forward about six years later, um, Kelly's dad plays the piano down in Florida 328 times per year for $35. And he does it to kind of give back to the elderly. He's a retired chiropractor for over 30 plus years. And this is kind of what he does for fun. When we would go down to Florida, unfortunately I would get exposed to having to go to these shows. And a lot of the places down in Florida, they tend to build them up where there's 10 floor, 12 floors of elderly down in Florida. And what would happen is when I'd go to these shows, it would take me back to the experience that I had prior. And I just got really uncomfortable. I got uncomfortable because I hated being there. I hated the atmosphere. I hated what I had to go through. And the fact that he was there, piano, and he told the same corny jokes over and over. That didn't help either. but. I think the thing that really drove me crazy from going there was I hated the atmosphere. I hated the odor. I hated how I felt because it took me back to that day when I went to go get help for, for our own family. So what would happen is every time all of us would go down to Florida, I would try to get out of going to all the shows and I'd be like, hey, Kelly, <laughs> is there anything that I can do that I don't have to go to the shows? You know, am I able to cook? Am I able to clean? Two things that I'm terrible and I would offer to do just so I didn't have to go to the shows, you know? And Kelly is great. I've been together with Kelly now for 15 years and sometimes she gives me this look and this look tells me I better go like or else. And sometimes I am able to kid saying that or else could be nothing good comes from that look and it could be 
a pillow to the face in the evening time. I just don't, that's a thing that I just don't uh, know. So I opted to go and this was July of 2014 and we went to a house and I said, Kelly, text your dad, where the heck are we at? Because typically down in Florida, when we ever go to all these shows, it's these huge, uh, huge type buildings. And I've got a truck that's about 20, 22 feet long. So it, it's hard to find parkings. But this time we pulled up to a house and I was like, text your dad, where are we at? Her dad pulls up about five minutes later and he brings his piano and we go into a house. Now, let me describe this house to you because I was investing at this point for four years full time and I've never heard of it. It was a house on a cul-de-sac. So there was literally houses on each side, about 10 feet off of each part of the house. House is maybe only 2,800 feet, maybe 3,000, but it was a five bedroom, three and a half bath house with a pool in the back. Pretty common down in Florida. This is down by like Tampa area. It's like in between Tampa and Orlando. So like we go to the show and we, and we go in the house and he has his piano and he's playing his piano. And I do with one of these, you know, like the arm cross because I don't know where I'm at. And I, so I'm looking at it and I'm like, what is this place? So I grab the girl in the charge and I say, hey, Sarah, how much of these people pay to be here? Like 1500 or $2,000 per month. And she gave me a really dirty look and her answer was, huh, and just kind of kept on walking. So I was like, Kelly, did you hear that? Like, she didn't even answer me. So I called her the day after and I said, Sarah, I was probably too high. <laughs> could you tell me how much these people are able to pay per month? And this girl goes up, Brandon, I thought you were kidding because they begin at $5,200 a month. I apologize. So what I quickly figured out was the portfolio that I had of homes, this one home with five beds outperformed it two times per month. And that's kind of how I got exposed to it. So I came back home, I figured that they would be everywhere and they just really weren't. And uh, so, we sold a bunch of properties. We put them up for sale. I went to our club of investors and I said, hey guys, I've got uh, 23 properties, tenants in all of them, who's interested? So I sold 22 of the 23 within like 32 days. So that's kind of how I got into the industry.